right, this is 13 amps. This here I find is the magic of sailing. So now I've got the wind coming on 60 degrees, 55 degrees. I pulled the drifter out and uh, I'm actually going upwind. The drifter is uh, a pretty big sail. It's 150% uh, made for light winds, uh, like maybe uh, max 10 knots, 15 knots. After that, it's just the wrong material. It's not strong enough. So then I'll pull the jib out instead, or the Genoa. But this uh, drifter, it's, it's a huge sail, but it works great. So uh, again, I'm just testing it out. Uh, Kevin from Bay Sails uh, put um, a Dyneema cord in the, uh, I guess it's the luff of the sail the luff or the leech the luff I think and the leech here is the bot the bottom edge or the back edge so the leading edge of the sail uh, and then it's tacked down there's my the knots aren't right in terms of the airspeed it's pretty low it's probably one or two knots here at the moment but it is coming from that direction when it's ever it's like really low I get kind of bounce readings like that it doesn't read right but I can feel the wind in my hair, so there's definitely wind. And then up here, I've got this here on my bow. And I just connected it in there for testing. And this is new. Last year I would have had to drop the furler and then, um, like using the furling part of the, of the sail, the, uh, the rope here, that, to feed into the furler. Um, that would take a while. So this still took a bit of time because I, had, I hadn't I had done this before, but basically I've got an attachment point. I can feel that the the sail is, is good. It's, it's fairly tight and you can see here it's very full. Full bodied sail. And uh, like I said, it's interesting. It, it goes, that's definitely a 150%. Um, just in terms of the, in terms of the sail size. So going upwind here right now, you can see that's just a phenomenal sail. So I might want to put, just looking up at the top, I've probably got another foot on the spinnaker line, but I don't know what that's going to do when I tack to the other side. So before I commit to anything, um, I could make that extension a little bit higher and then um, bring it up about a foot but like it's working fine so I think I'm gonna go with this for now test this out a few more times and there's some heavier wind with a few extra hands oh there's a bee up here don't like them making homes on the boat that's the second one actually I think he may, he might have been in the sail anyways uh, oh. We're at 30 degrees sail angle here now. It's uh, I'm still moving too. I, I, I find on this boat here the comfortable tack points about 45 to the wind. So kind of like in the middle of that green bar up there is uh, you know, I'm still moving comfortably upwind at a decent speed. And if I start going inside of that then I end up having a little bit of sail flap and um, you know I, I'd lose speed dramatically but you can still do it if you need to if you're in a tight spot and you need to get around something but you, you end up losing all of your speed 
So I find here, you can see, this is about, you know, it's got to be faster than um, pulse speed, or sorry, wind speed right now, but uh, at my speedometer or at the boat knot speed is just not working. I don't really know why. That's uh, It was working before, so it must be just stuck or something, unless I hit a wire somewhere that I don't know of. Uh, at 13 and a half knots I've got a little bit of a headwind on me but uh, 14 knots I'm actually doing more than three knots so I'm doing sorry at uh, 14 amps I'm doing three knots right now I'm just slowing that down a bit it's a touchy throttle so it's, it's like I push it too far so it's about 10 amps So 12 amps, that's where I am now. I just wanted to uh, close off this video by saying thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a few more sailing videos and uh, do-it-yourself projects. I'm still working on the interior of the boat, so we'll be uh, kind of going over some of the fiberglassing uh, work that I have left to do. Um, I've got a lot of the deck work done, but I still want to put one coat of paint down. Um, last year, because of COVID, I was only able to get uh, two coats done on my deck, um, and I wanted three. So I, uh, I just, it was hard to get material, and I ran out of time, and I had lockouts. And it was just too complicated. Um, so anyways, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, and thanks uh, for all the thumbs up I'm getting. Uh, like I said, uh, just trying to share my knowledge, uh, document my journey as I uh, restore this uh, 1975 Hughes 35 North Star 1500 uh, sailboat. Uh, so thanks for watching.